We just opened the door, so I'm gonna do a little time lapse of everybody walking in. These are my favorite cars of Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals 2022. Probably gonna end up being a lot of the cars from Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals 2022 because almost all of them are my favorites. So let's go check them out. With a factory slide back roof, stage one, 455. So we actually have three 71 Sassy Grass billboard Cudas here. Um, there's two of them over here that are Hemi cars and Rob and I were standing in between them doing looking fine. Like this one has this, this one has this. We found six differences between the two. When we add this car in, which is 340, uh, there's, I think this car's got a couple of other options that are different, but it's kind of neat to be able to compare the cars like that. All right, so here are the two matching 71 Hemi Kudas. Obviously the major difference between the two, vinyl top, no vinyl top. We can find six other differences, or six differences total, and I'll show them to you. Last American bumpers, chrome bumpers. This one has turn signal, uh, fender turn signal indicators. This one does not. This one has a go wing. This one does not. Uh, this one has houndstooth interior. This one does not. I think that this one just doesn't have an antenna. Uh, at first I thought it was a power antenna, but now that I look at it, I think it's just not on. Pretty sure that those are the only differences between these two cars. It's kind of a cool thing to have them next to each other and be able to point out the difference between the two though. Love this car. Hemi. 71 Chargers are one of my favorite B bodies. This one's pretty wild, factory color. Uh, I've never seen any other Mercury's in that color, so pretty cool. I also really like this Olds. Pretty sure this was in yesterday's video. Uh, I think I drove this car over, but I'm not 100% sure. Another real Hemi Cuda. All these cars are from Canada in this section. Used to hate green cars, but this green Hemi Roadrunner, Steelys, red lines, whoo. This car's under a cover, well that kind of sucks, but. Real Trans Am convertible, one of eight. This is actually from the Brothers collection. Uh, they have four of the eight. This was in that video. There's that Pantera again. It's for sale too, I guess I could own it. a real motion Camaro. The Silver Bullet GTX. I remember when this car first was found and restored. Heck, it had to be 20 years ago as a kid. It still looks amazing. I think Harold Sullivan owns it. If you don't know the story of the Silver Bullet, you should Google it. Uh, basically, real famous underground Detroit street racer, sort of like a factory back test car that they used to just romp on the streets. So this is class of 67. All these are 67s, obviously. I feel like I look like a lunatic right now, but 
it's all for a good cause because cars are awesome. This is another scenario at Muscle Car and Corporate Nationals where it's just like a wild, amazing, like incredible lineup of historic cars that you might just walk past and not even notice is here because there's so much other cool stuff. But uh, basically, look at this. We've got original Sox and Martin GTX, original Mr. 5 and 50, original ZL1 Barnhart Camaro, original Superstock LO23 Dart, an original BO23 Superstock Barracuda. Real Superstock AMX. 900 original mile car. This one I just saw earlier today. I didn't see it at all all weekend, but very much one of my favorite cars. A990 Superstock 65 Plymouth. Really cool color. I don't know. what The Superstock cars are so cool to me because they're so basic. Like, look at the interior of this thing. No back seat, just bare bones, no radio, no nothing. It's about as cool as it gets. And if you don't like gold, here's a red one. Real Thunderbolt. Everyone thinks that it's my dad and me that put on the show, but really it's this guy that does all the work. So here's a cool story. This is a one of one 70 442 W30 convertible in plum crazy purple from the factory. I just read the board on it. It said that the owner of the dealership special ordered it as a way to get around GM's 442 allotment restrictions. If you did this special $50 any color you want thing, it didn't count against your allotment. So the dealer ordered this car as a demo, drove it for 4,000 miles and then sold it. But just pretty cool story for a random car and random color. It's another thing I think that my dad does really well is finding cars that have a history uh, and getting the story told here. So like obviously this is an original test car or magazine test car and oh it's a 426 Hemi conversion. I don't know what that means. Wish there was a storyboard on it. But look at these parts too. Injection, block, that looks like a 440 block, maybe it's a 426 wedge block. Grand Spalding, oh, both of these are Norm's cars, very neat. This is a charger that was stuck in the reliable and the key uh, is now sporting a battery from my Mercedes. Another LO23 Dart. All right, so on that same topic, here's another cool little thing. So these are not two cars that look like the two cars in this magazine article from 1970. These are the two cars from the magazine <laughs> article in 1970. I think T5 is probably my favorite color for Charger 500s. The Steelys just in red lines make this thing. Oh, I just noticed this is all Charger 500s. We got one, two, three, four, five, six Charger 500s in a row. And all of them except for the front one and the back one are Hemi's. All right, so hear me out on this. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. I used to hate this genre especially at Mopars, because they're just, I don't know, underwhelming. Whatever they are, I used to hate them. I love this specific grouping, like Aztec Gold 75 Roadrunner, ridiculous. 78 Magnum with T-tops, just like the ultimate late 70s cruiser. These two though, are the crown jewel, I feel like, of like late 70s ugliness. Brown, Super Coupe, orange, blue, and yellow stripes and a brown interior. Like, just such a wild combination. My dad even said last night when I complimented it, he's like, what is, what happened? I thought you hated these. Same thing, like, just such a weird combination of colors. Again, red interior in this one. And the blue 77 Charger Daytona. 
like 17 different shades of blue from the factory. It's just so silly. I love it. 71 444 barrel New Yorker and a 71 Hurst Edition Chrysler 300. The thing that's amazing about these tanks is the trunk and quarter panel. So, to give you some perspective, I'm gonna lay down here with my feet at the back bumper. So I'm like 5'7". Look at how massive. I can't even stretch my arm and reach the door line. Like, this car is ridiculously huge. That has to be one of the largest quarter panels and trunks ever conceived. If I'm standing at the back bumper, I can just reach the lip of the trunk. <laughs> what an obscenely massive vehicle. I think that somebody told us they're like 22 feet long or something. I don't know that that's true. I just made that stat up. But. So these cars might look familiar. This is the Pure Stock Muscle Car Drag Race booth. Uh, so all of these cars were at Pure Stock and in my video. Uh, so both original paint cars. Sick. Hemi Satellite. Another super stock dart. It's a real Hello 23. So I think that's the third one that we have here. Not a lot of people know that you get a machine in any color. They weren't all red, white, and blue. Pretty cool, unusual vehicle. In yesterday's video, I said, if this car is for sale, I would very seriously consider buying it. Turns out this car is for sale and I am very seriously considering buying it. He's marked down to 14.5, but if he takes it home, it's gonna be 18. That's ridiculous, but it looks pretty beat, but it is so solid. Like, look at this. Not a speck of rust on this car. Kind of feel like this would be a great vehicle to buy and change the exhaust because it's ugly. Put nice steelies on it and drive it while we're working on putting the Hornet back together. Uh, showed it to Laura. She immediately vetoed it because she said it's ugly and looks like garbage, which ironically are the two things that attract me to this car. Since I don't have a checkbook and she does, that might be a problem. So I'm gonna have to figure that one out with her, but I really like this car. Uh, definitely can afford the car, can't afford the divorce. A pet peeve so if you come to muscle car and corvette nationals here's something not to do don't put a cover on your car at night uh, a lot of people don't know this but certain media gets 24 hour access uh, on saturday night and that's when all of the photos for magazines and all of the video and stuff are shot so if your car is covered up it's not going to get any coverage um yeah the only cars that we have covered are on friday during move-in and friday night unveiling cars so just a, a, a pro tip here for you for the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. I don't know if you can see it, but this is a real V-Code Plum Crazy Challenger. V-Code means 446 pack. God, I just love the Steelys and Dog Dish. 444 barrel, four speed. I'm pretty sure that this was Kate's favorite car here. Pink with a pink stripe. I completely love e-body convertibles. This one is a 344 speed. It is not a factory uh, six pack car, but it is a factory 344 speed convertible. What is cool or what makes this one especially special is the current owner has put 435,000 miles on it. The car has 600,000 miles and it says it's been driven to every show it's been in. I don't know if they drove it to this one, but it's kind of a cool comparison. So you got the Sublime and Sassy Grass next to each other. 
That one I think is my favorite color. I don't know. Sublime is also awesome though. Okay, another car with a cover. Bummer. But I guess if I wanted to look at a yellow AR. Here we've got a 70 Petty Blue Roadrunner that is a survivor. So that means this car is completely original paint, uh, just as it was from 1970. This is not a survivor, but I would say top five favorite cars also. Obviously the outside color is great, but you can always see well. Blue interior, M code, 446. So I guess, I don't know who watches my videos, so uh, a lot of times I might use like VIN slang or whatever. M code on 69 Roadrunner Super B means it's a six pack. If it's a V code on an E body, that means it's a six pack 440. Um, but yeah, anyway. Another V code Roadrunner. This is about as perfect as it gets. 70 Roadrunner convertible, 446, Steelys, dog dish caps, small letter poly glass, and a four speed. I can't imagine there being any other options that I would want on this car. It's like absolutely perfect as it sits, greatest combination you could have. Now, I guess it could use power windows, but that's getting picky. So not a real Hemi Cuda, but the luggage rack, pretty slick. Here's that Velari go-kart that we had in yesterday's video too. I actually was talking to the guy that owns this. He wants our van and I want this Velari, but neither one of us want to trade because we both want both of them. <laughs> so the guy that owns this car was telling me this was the actual Hot Rod and Motor Trend test vehicle. So it looks hammered and just like a normal Levante, but it's like pretty solid history of it. So Ed and Brian, the guys that did the Hornet for us, uh, my dad's best friend for like my whole life. This is their dad's car, so license plate is just incredible, dad's GP. They used to have eight lug Pontiac wheels on it and they just put the Steelys on for this show I, and the Cheater Slicks, of course. I just love this car. They painted it like, I might have been 10 years old when they painted this thing. One of 17 446 CUDA convertible. We have this one labeled as a survivor. I don't know that I would say it survived anything, but it's pretty friggin' cool, unrestored. There's actually a large number of unrestored wing cars here. Uh, I think in this row, which is like the Wellborn Invitational, I think there's like four. So we got one, uh, two, three. Yeah, there's four survivors in this row. This one is also pretty neat, 444 speed. And at some point somebody molded the nose into the fender. It's like a solid 70s custom. This is another pretty cool lineup that you might not notice uh, unless you read the sign. So this is six 1965 GT350 Shelby Mustangs, but there were 10 pre-production cars made where they basically were like a test shot and six of them are here. So all of these pre-production Shelbys. Mr. Norm's personal van. I can't really get a good angle on it, but you can see like the dragster painted on the side. It's pretty neat. Again, a car cover. Come on, brother. Joe, why are you covering up your car? I didn't see this earlier. This looks like an original paint. GSS 340. Got some great bikes this year. 
Uh, the Mini Twin, I actually found this at a, just like a normal bicycle show in Traverse City parking garage. There's my purple Predator black, oh, and my black Predator back there. These are an incredible pair. So the story is that a brother and a sister got these in 1965. Like, brother got this one under the Christmas tree, sister got this one, and they just never really beat on them. They're like about as mint as you can imagine. I love Survivor unrestored bikes. I would love to have that Stingray, but it's definitely a pretty high dollar piece. The 70 is beautiful never see these ZB Hondas anymore either. This thing is really mint. 98 original miles. That one is for sale and it's definitely too nice for us but super sick bike. Three ninety six sixty eight Chevelle. Uh, it is not a four speed, but I love the black and the red lines. White interior too is nice. I really like this car quite a lot. Just very tasteful, nice looking Corvette. This thing, I think this was one of Rob's favorite cars when it was on the turntable, especially spinning around. But super clean, really nice build. Looks very fun. I am a big fan of the notchback Mustang also. It's a really tasteful build. I like it a lot. It's like an odd vehicle for sure, but looks great. We have made our way to the barn find section and the very first car is so cool. So a real Hemi Cuda, triple black. So that means black vinyl top, black paint, black interior. Uh, motor is not in this car obviously, but... Oh, and a four speed. Forty car. Mr. Norm's three eighty three Super B. Wow, four forty six. Really cool. And a Charger five hundred four forty. The automotive archaeologist Ryan Brutt. Is that the Dr. Ian Ashton? No. It's his impersonator. Oh. <laughs> Hashtag Bob said, I put that. Actually, I, I didn't put it in the Daytona. I gave it to Abby last year and it found its way back this year. Mm -hmm. Hashtag Bob said. Hemi Challenger. That's great. It's a real M code Super B. So M code is 446, of course. Bench seat four speed, how cool is that? Something like this would be a, my dream. If I found, actually found this in a barn, like perfect color, obviously perfect car. Doesn't get much better than that. Wow, another V code, CUDA. And I'm guessing the original engine in trans. Yanko Nova. I honestly don't remember if I filmed these pure stock cars. I know I filmed that side, but gotta get the M code Super V down here.
I do not know a whole lot about Mustangs, but I can tell you that all four of these ones are blue. Pretty wicked. Red stripe, red interior, red line tires. This thing is like perfectly straight too. A lot of faith they have in that lift. Must have been built by some real professionals. <laughs> 68. I think it's B5 Blue. I can't tell what the light's in here. Oh yeah, through the screen it's definitely B5 Blue. Blue interior. Might not know this, but this show exists primarily because of Steve Bimby from Nikki Chicago. Uh, it's a good story. You should ask my dad if you ever run into him. This car has been known to exist, but largely off the radar and inaccessible until just very recently when it was sold. I'm told that it's going to be restored, unfortunately. Right now, this is exactly the way it came from the factory. Original paint, every piece of sheet metal is original. Um, it's definitely not perfect. I think it's probably the nicest survivor Hemi Cuda convertible that there is. Uh, I can't think of a nicer one, but sadly, uh, the owner is gonna restore it, which is kind of a bummer, but either way, it'll be a super, super nice car when it's done, and really cool to have.